Friends, we have some yummy fasulia in the fridge. Going to be looking after you when we're done with this. I'm going to give you some nice juicy information. Check out Pika, by the way. So, friends, this is going to be interesting to show you. There are many opportunities out there while core coins bleed. And, man, do I have a show for you today. So, friends, let's look at this coin. This is on Pulse Chain, okay? Pika, okay? You can read about the story and everything else out here. I've made it. Look at the clown emoji is, friends. So, somebody jeeted. Brother, why did you do this? Someone jeeted out like a couple of hundred bucks or a couple of thousands of dollars, and then everyone just started piling in. I don't know why you did that, this pump and dump. And literally, friends, I just said, this. <laughs> you don't want to be doing that. And then literally went up 30x from that point. 30x from that point. Okay, by the way, the market cap's still cheap. It's still like 200k market cap. So I'm just showing you, friends, look at this. I'm just here. So make memes great again. Okay. So you think you're smart because you just realize that meme coins are useless tickers on the internet. That's what people happen. That's what happens. People like have this awakening. They're like, oh my gosh, meme coins are useless and make no cash flow. Let me go click sell onto everything. That's what they do. Every altcoin, by the way, everything in crypto happens. Everything in crypto. Okay. And then after this point, person jeets and a couple of uh, jeets follow him. Okay. It does 30x bank. By the way, in 24 hours, how about that? <laughs> Can you believe that, man? Oh, that's crazy. So this is just one of many, many opportunities on Pulse Chain and many, many other, other, opportunity, other opportunities out there too, friends. Landwolf is still cheap. Landwolf, 12, 13 million market cap. Peppy's at 6 billion. One of the Peppy's boys club friends. Okay, it's official. They believe we are. Landwolf is Peppy's best friend. It's 100% confirmed. Okay, Matt Fury, put him in the comments here, though. Okay, all these other opportunity friends. Just tick a Bitcoin, Harry Potter, Obama. I'm going to go on and on and on and on. Just like so many coins. Here's the thing, though. People get into them, and then they have this, they have this, they become mid curvers event. So they, they learn the fundamentals, and then they get in, and then time goes by. Then they enter the mid curve where they go, wait a minute, there's no cash flow. I've got to click out now. It's not doing anything, and they just leave. They don't realize they are now in the mid-curve part. So, friends, people in the very, very high part of the curve, the very low part of the curve where we are negative IQ, you just get in. You know why? You go, oh, things are going up. Things are going up. We believe it's going up. That's it. That's all you need. You start thinking more than that, you're not going to make it, friends. Okay? So, also, Timmy is fading every ticker on Pulse Chain, and that's why we'll continue to have punts, friends. I just want to show you, Timmy, just to show this, friends, when you, when you, when you see this information... Know that you have a competitive edge, okay? You do have a big competitive edge. So a lot of people, right, they don't even know that there are multiple liquidity pools with these new meta of how crypto is operating. They don't know that. What they'll do is they'll find one liquidity pool of the coin and they go, oh, there's only $1,000 in there. What you know is if you go to find the other Pika ones on Pulse Chain, look, this has 13000 this has 17000 this one has $6,000. You see that? Now, they don't all get added up together, okay? But I'm just showing you, yeah, this like someone thinks they can only buy $500 worth, but actually they could buy $5,000 worth. There's 10x more that they didn't know about. Now, I'm using this as my signal, friends. I'm using this as my signal that people don't understand the new meta, which is the new, the new, the new game of crypto, friends. What's the new game? Well, friends, the new game is liquidity bonding, joining forces, all right, and keeping things within an ecosystem. So this is the live Pika chart right here, the one I just showed you. Look at that. It's up 229K market cap. Sweet. Sweet. And obviously, as you know, why? Okay, someone, it's not official Tang Gang, but I think Orange Degen, I call her Orangelina uh, Degen a lot. She is part of the Pulse Chain community. She, has, she, she could be part of Tang Gang. She has an orange. I don't know. I can't confirm. I don't know, friends. That's why I just tell you, man, assume everything is 50-50. Assume it's all 50-50 and it can go to zero. Sweet, but isn't that nice, by the way? 50-50 uh, chance it goes to zero. Okay, it didn't go to zero. You made 30x. So congratulations for everyone participating in that. I'm just showing you, man. These types of stuff, they are occurring all the time. And people who don't understand multiple liquidity pools and how these games are working, they are representative of the rest of the crypto people. They have no idea because they're all in PvP mode. They go, my coin, your coin, my coin, your coin. They say, fight, 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 fight. These new ecosystems being built, friends. So you have the influencer coins, 
in Pulse Chain. You also have, that's part of the nine inch, right? Nine inch world. You also have the Atropa ecosystem, liquidity bonding, Teddy Bear, Atropa, P Dye, and, and you know, all these, all these, okay? Monet Money and uh, just everything, uh, Discovery and BFF, all these other stuff going on. You also have Tang Gang, okay? With all the fruits, very, very easy to remember them, okay? Um, you have Na Na Na, you have Peach, you have Got Milk that just came out, okay? You have Dick with Butt, all of these, okay? HOA, see all these oranges. All these ecosystems, they're growing, and yeah, they're just they're adding more meme coins, onboarding more people. That's what they're doing. They're all trying different stuff. Okay, this is the new meta. It's not just, oh, here's one coin and do this. That is old mentality. And guess what? That is okay for the actual winners. But for people trying to be the winners, it's not enough. Because you've got a big barrier to cross. You need people to get interested in your coin. And people just want to be early to stuff, friends. A lot of people out there. And that energy gets pushed into stuff like this. And the meta evolves such that you're onboarding people who want to constantly be new. And then they get eventually become stronger hands because they're early to one part of the ecosystem. It's just like if you had a city and there's no pizza shops. There are only kebab shops. Okay, and you're the first pizza shop in the city. Now you're a strong hand in the city. Like, I'm the only pizza shop here. Woo! It's the same thing when, like, got milk. There was no milk-themed coin before. Now there is, right? So I'm, just, I'm just expanding your mind, giving you a 3D view of what's going on. Now, remember this, friends. Three months ago, I was the most bearish fudder influencer. Quote, obviously, it's a joke, okay? Now I'm the most bullish. I didn't change any target. I told you. I've told you thousands of times. My targets haven't changed whatsoever. Pulse chain, pulse because nothing has changed. The prices suck, clearly, because I've just been bleeding hard and hard. I mean, I've got to show you. Yes, everyone knows, man. The prices do suck, friends. Going down all the way, once again, all these. Okay, yes, you're thinking about that bad deal you got three years ago. I get it, I get it. But nothing's changed by my mind. Nothing, okay? Nothing. Just friends, you see me crying. I don't, it's just, it's annoying. It's very annoying. And I, I want, friends, I want to be wrong. I want to be wrong such that, okay, my targets are like, you know, way, way, 80% below where they should be. They should be 5, 5x higher, which is enormous, right? Like imagine if you had a target of 20x, but the real one ends up being 100. I, I want that scenario to come out. But it's just, you get to get to see as time goes on, it's kind of like, okay, well, maybe, maybe I was right. That's it. Maybe I was right. You got a DCA, buy more, click more of the core coins, pay attention to lottery tickets, pay attention to altcoins. A lot of things are screaming, friends. p is screaming, just broke its all-time high against PLS. And, okay, so friends, you know, the fundamentals assessment, the same, the strategy is still in play, prices are low. So like I mentioned, man, DCA, you can buy, you can sell, you do whatever. I'm not selling. Recently, I added, and friends, people always wondering, how do you have such infinite money? Friends, it's not like I'm adding a big percentage. It's just like throwing something in. You know what I mean? It's just psychologically, like, oh, well, it's got something in. And then you can decide on what you want to do with that later on. Uh, people can also sell and leave. You can go out there. But uh, you, what you will find is, I, I noticed that if you sell and leave, friends, now you, okay, here's the thing. Show me the other island with the coconut bra babes. Show it to me. Everyone say, oh, I'm just going to sell and leave. Okay, do that. Where are you going? You're going to buy Bitcoin or Ethereum. Good luck. Good luck. I'll tell you right now, you're going to re big time regret that. Okay, buying the spear coin. <laughs> Being the, buying the core coin after all this recovery and stuff. Okay, you're going to regret that. What else are you going to buy? Another ecosystem? Which one? Okay, Solana. Okay, find me the one out of 400 coins that doesn't rug. Okay, sweet. You got to get in early to that. What about Coinbase? Same thing. You see? So where are they? You got to... It's a challenge, man. It really is a challenge to go out there and find... Where's these other ones? There's opportunity. There's opportunity all around us. You can enjoy this peppy with the frog. Enjoy, friends. Enjoy. Yeah, man. I know. I know. I got. I got. I got. Play, I got. I got crypto everywhere. It's fine. I'm just, I'm just telling you that they're expensive, man. The the tech is expensive. Like ticker Bitcoin is what like 160 million market cap, and that's top tier. And I I feel that's going to two billion. I can just give you like a few of them. A few of them. Not like they're just falling out of the sky. In Pulse Chain, the ecosystem and all these meme coins, they're literally falling out of the sky, friends. Dick with Bart. Look at these ones. Is still like 5 million market cap, 5, 6 million. And funny enough, right now, friends, deck screener is breaking. By the way, that's how you know we're getting towards the bull market. Look at this. The chart won't even load. I'm telling you now, friends, I've noticed deck screener, you know, the famous platform that we all need to use for the charts, it's breaking more and more over time, which means they're getting more overloaded with, with people joining, which means crypto, the retailers, the activity is starting to bubble up. That's how we know a big bull market is coming, okay? This is very, very bullish. And also, baby dolls, I want to share with you a comment. So there's a comment from his friend, my friend, Uni. Now, Yoon, Uni Anderson says, you're supposed to buy a coin and look back at it in a few years 
hats off to you that look at it every day. Friends, I'm, I'm just trying to remember, I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm telling you what you need to hear, okay? This is really, really important, okay? Really important. I'll take my hat off. That's how important this is, okay? I put hat stays on, okay? So look, 99% of coins do not make a higher high against Bitcoin in its second cycle. 99% of coins. There's only one that has only been able to do it, Doge. So it's actually... The win rate's actually, it's worse than that. 99%, friends. There's literally only one in 100 coins that your coin will break, the, break an all-time high against Bitcoin, okay, from the past. Now, we hope, yes, past performance indicator, future, blah, blah, blah. We know all that. But so far, the odds are really stacked against you, okay? So getting into an altcoin and then ignoring everything else in crypto is very dangerous. I can't tell you how dangerous that is. That is extremely dangerous, okay? And... I will bet against everybody who does that, by the way. If you give me 100 people and they all do that, I would love to take a short position on every single one of them. One person's going to blow out. You only, you control your risk on that. You'll win on the rest. I promise you. you. You'll win on a big, big majority of people. You'll bet against them. What does bet against them mean? And basically, you can do that by not holding all their bags. That's it. You need deep value contrarian stuff. But you can't, man, you can't have this mindset of doing that. Because look, this only works for unicorns. Bitcoin is a unicorn. Ethereum is a unicorn. Binance Exchange is a unicorn. It is one of the most profitable companies in the world. And they are behind the scenes backing their BNB token. Okay. Their profits rotate in. They do rotate in. They just don't have expectations of it. They do rotate in. You can see it from the chart. You can see it from the chart. Okay. It keeps it nice. It's like a buyback onto it. However, unicorn, unicorn, unicorn. Where's the other unicorns that have this? Okay. There's unicorn tech like Uniswap. Is Uni the token, the unicorn? I don't know. It might be in the future if they put the buy and burn in, maybe, but not yet. Clearly not yet, okay? So it was the wrong move if you hold on, all right? Very unique cases. That's just three out of what? 100,000. Three out of 100. I can name them. I can literally count them on one hand. <laughs> and it's very important, friends. Altcoins are not the S&P 500, okay? They are not the S&P 500, friends. The S&P 500 has the top 500 biggest coins. You're playing momentum. You're betting on the whole economy. We don't have a crypto 100, okay? We don't, where you're betting on the biggest 100 coins. We do not have that. Buying one coin is absolutely not like that. So just keep this in mind for this bull market in euphoria. Keep it in mind. Now, friends, I want to throw some attention to PDI. You remember PDI, friends? PDI is absolutely screaming. This is the PDI USD chart. It's doing this little U-turn up here. This is beautiful to see. But the most important thing to look at is the PDI PLS ratio. See where the arrow is? See, I made a new high. Now, it doesn't mean it's going to keep going up. I'm just showing you that that's a that's a very significant move. It's making a new high against Pulse, the SPI. Very important, all right? This is phenomenal strength. Very powerful. Amazing. And that value, so PDI PLS ratio, the value is 104. It used to be 16x lower. So that's right. From when I covered it, it's 16x lower. Everyone knows the story, friends. When I first heard about it, saw that, oh, there's this weird inflation bug stuff going on. It dumps back down, goes up, has a boom bust cycle. And then in the bust, it drops 90%, 90 more, I think around 90%. And I said, hey, if you lost by like thinking it was like a bug and then it wasn't back then, this is your chance to get back with 5x more size. Pretty much I alluded to that, 5 to 10x if you want, if you want. And guess what? It did end up, did end up pumping from that point. So that's why, friends, being in this game, it's not good enough just to like, you can't think you're always going to be right the first time on anything. The game is adaptability. It always is adaptability. If something you think, you know, it always happens. People will fade stuff. We all naturally fade stuff, but then it goes up so much. Some people join it at the tops. I don't join it at the tops. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wait for your bust. I've got to wait for your depression price. I want a cheap price. If you can give me a cheap price, maybe I'll like it. Then that's exactly what happened with PDI. That's what was happening down here in this zone box down here. Down here, I think I made my video somewhere here in December. Ish, I was posting about it here. Then then snap up here. So that's huge, huge, huge. That's very powerful. Think about, man, the spears are dropping and PDI's going up. By the way, friends, just telling this PDI thing, it's shocking the world. It Because it's like, well, you're an unbacked stable coin slowly moving to a dollar. How are you getting more attention than the bags of PLS, PulseX, and Hex? Well, I guess it's just more product market fit in PDI. The narrative of its mystery and what's going on in the background and the fact that people who buy in are strong hands, there's no hands from like last cycle, you know what I mean? They've had enough chance to exit. So a lot of people might say, well, there's people who, um, there's there is weak hands holding it. Yeah, but they had a chance to sell every step of the way and it still keeps moving up. It is what it is. And it was smaller market cap. So that's something else to think about as well. So that's why I'm going to have some fun here, friends. I am publicly calling out 
all the following estrogen stable coins. Tether, USDT, Circle, USDC, Estrogen Dye, which is E-Dye, the dye on Ethereum. None of you will be able to pump more than 2% in the next 18 months. None. They're all going to stay. They're a dollar today. They'll be a dollar tomorrow. Limp doodles. All right. P-Dye, though, I think it's going to I think it's gonna go up more than this little 2% trashy piece of poop move. I don't know how much, friends. If you want to have a look at the targets, we can entertain some fun. But actually, at um at this still time at this time of recording, still Peter, uh, still Dex Screener is broken, which is funny. It literally still broken. But luckily for you, friends, I have these resistances drawn up here. So the first level to get to is one cent. It's about two x from here. This is a two x from today. The next is one point seven cents to flip Luna UST. That's about like a three and a half x from today. Now this is the big level, friends. I can't. This is very important. Luna UST's high from November twenty twenty three is seven cents. Seven cents, okay, because that's Luna. You know what I mean? Luna was able to get to seven cents. What about this fresh new story? None of the memories of the Luna victims or anything. We should be able to get above seven cents. That is about, friends, that is about uh, 14 to 15 X from today. Just seven cents, by the way. That's right. I didn't say a dollar. We're just talking about seven cents. That's, another f that's crazy, man. That's crazy. I'm going to be glad we're able to um, at least cover this so everyone can participate if you want. I don't know what you can do though. Is is it enough for you to get this uh, dip, friends? Only you can decide, man. I don't do this stuff. That's it. it's momentum game. Look, I'm just telling you right now. Look, at the end of the day, it doesn't even, like your price, friends. Are very, very important. Okay. However, at some point, you go. Okay, you can't rewind time anymore. You can't go back to depression prices anymore. You can't go back and get those prices from December 29, 20, uh, uh, December of just like six, seven months ago. So what do you do? Well. Now it's up to you. You have to decide how much you're willing to risk. How much you're willing to risk and how much upside do you think there is? You might say, okay, if this thing can do a, by the way, 7 cents, that 15, that's not even a dollar, right? You go, okay, if the upside is 15x, uh, what's my downside? Okay, you lose everything. Okay, sweet, you're risking one to make 15. You might decide how much that worth, how much is that worth to you in your portfolio, friends? There are people who've made like, you know, 1% of their portfolio in yield, from farming and stuff. They go, okay, maybe they have 100 grand. Maybe they have 100 grand in the whole portfolio. They go, well, I'm going to put $1,000 in. If I lose the 1000 bucks, it goes to zero. But if I am if I get to the target on the 1000 bucks, it becomes 15000 That's That's the one that you think about, friends. And by the way, 1% is pretty, you got to be pretty aggressive with your allocation. If something gives 1%, you got to know, you really got to know the game. But I mean, we're covering it every single day. So that's, you, that's what you know the game. The, your whole competitive edge out there in the background and you're like, you're seeing all these on-chain stuff, the mysterious bids, how's it all working out? You know, all these other things, okay? So don't forget, friends, here's me, astronaut suit. Once again, I don't know how you did this, man. This looks like way too, it looks way, it's just, friends, this AI stuff blowing our minds, man. We're just, oh, man, what's real anymore? Am I real? Are you real? Having these, like, existential questions, like, what is it? We're all just a simulation now, pretty much, okay? I want to remind you, though, I was here every minute of the day in the bull market. Okay, last bull market. Every minute of the day. I was actually, friends, I was actually trading on one minute candles. We're trading Bitcoin on one. I'm not joking. One minute candle time frames. Okay. No, no exaggeration. Literally one minute candles that will we'll scalp them. Okay, aggressively. Now, I can tell you right now, the only way to make it, and I mean the only way, is every morning you wake up and you say to yourself, not selling. That's the only way to make it. Not selling. That is, by the way, the 2021 mantra of that is diamond hands. Not selling, diamond hands. Not selling. See that? Remember 2017 was HODL, the court tornado. Hold on for dear life. 2021 is diamond hands. Not selling. All right. But also, in this cycle, okay, what's our war cry mantra? Because they all mean the same thing, right? The war cry is obviously believe in something. Okay. I believe. That's really what's going to take people in, okay? You might look at, I'm looking at some of these entry prices that people are taking in charts. And I'm like, dude, oh my gosh, how are you buying up here? We're up like 12x from here. But I know, I'm like, wait a minute, well, if I'm still holding and it's going to get to this target, they're going to win money if we, if we win. Anyway, anyway, that's what ends up happening because they believe. But they're only able to get in there because they believe. That's it. Do you believe? I believe in our friendship. Like, subscribe, belly button, all catch you soon.